So welcome to the Comics Lounge. This is just an intro. My name is Chris. I'm one of the nerds who's going to be walking you through different comics. Um, we're going to have multiple videos coming out each week. We're not quite sure the logistics of it yet, but this is just kind of our first video as Disney Plus finally has Infinity War. I really wanted to just readdress one of my biggest questions and what the Russo brothers kind of said about this, which makes total sense. So just so you know, it's kind of interesting how this all came to be. So a few people that I've met through different um, comic book shops and comic book uh, Facebook pages, we kind of said, what could we do with this? What, how could we increase our communication about comic books? And then it kind of turned into, well, we could just keep it here. We could move it along. We could um, make it bigger and better. And a lot of us kind of said, well, there's a lot going on with the movies right now and a lot of YouTube channels that talk about the movies, but we want to talk about more than just the movies. We want to get in depth into the comic books and what's going on in the actual source material books that we're going to be pulling from. As you all know, there's going to be a Winter Soldier and Falcon TV show coming out on Disney Plus, And there's an awesome comic book out right now that's actually titled the same thing. So we might, for an episode of this channel, we might end up looking into that and seeing, hmm, what could, what would we like to see from this book into this TV show? And I think that's how this is basically going to play out. So first, again, I'll introduce myself one more time. My name is Chris. I'm going to be walking you through the Thanos vs. Hulk fight scene. And then we're going to actually kind of talk about how Hulk so easily got beaten by Thanos. The sun will shine on us again. <laughs> Your optimism is misplaced, Asgardian. Well, for one thing, I'm not Asgardian. And for another, we have the Hulk. <laughs> him have his fun. in two minutes we've literally just seen the Hulk get flat out annihilated by Thanos as you can see at the beginning of the video um, Hulk actually has Thanos on the ropes but then it kind of reminds me of that whole Iron Man versus Captain America scene where Iron Man says analyze his fight pattern that's kind of what Thanos does right here and being that Thanos is very strong he's able to really um, incapacitate the Hulk very quickly and duck and dodge a lot of those punches that are coming in and really analyze what's his best move. And as you can see, even though the Hulk is very strong, he is easily outdone. So again, let's get back to the Russo brothers and what they had to say on this. So Joan Anthony Russo way back actually did an interview on this and they said, I would like to say that he is that powerful, he being Hulk, or Thanos being Hulk. You didn't see him. Or, sorry. I would like to say that he is just that powerful, he being Thanos. You didn't see him actively use the Power Stone in that fight. I think ultimately the way we looked at that fight and the way we talked about it with our Sun team when we were executing it was Hulk is obviously very powerful. 
but he's a little mindless in his fighting style. It's aggressive. It's pummeling. Thanos is the Genghis Khan of the universe. He's a very skilled fighter, equally as strong. So when you put those two up against each other, the more skilled fighter is going to win ultimately, which is why Hulk has a moment where he overpowers Thanos, but ultimately Thanos is smart. So if we look further into Infinity War, we obviously see these times when Thanos compares himself to Tony and Tony is an absolute genius and there's no denying that. So as we see that, we can kind of understand, okay, Thanos truly, truly is not only strong, but completely, without a shadow of a doubt, smart. So, and obviously starting with um, Avengers, we kind of see how strong the Hulk truly is. I mean, really, he takes on Thor. Thor only defeats him in Ragnarok because of a well timed lightning bolt um iron man has to have the hogbuster armor in order to do anything and i mean in this scene he's really just ripping through stuff like it's nothing and he annihilates both thor and loki who are asgard as guardian and deemed as gods living for thousands and thousands of years and just makes them seem like they are nothing like they're just worthless human beings i mean it, even at one point i don't think i have to remind you but he calls loki a puny god so i mean all that said the biggest reason why um thanos beat him wasn't simply because thanos is truly that much stronger it was truly that thanos is that much smarter and as we saw in Endgame, we know that Hulk, and even in Ragnarok, we know that Hulk is getting smarter and kind of evolving. And then when him and Bruce kind of say, okay, enough is enough. Let's not make this a you versus me thing. Let's kind of combine and not be Hulk or Banner, but instead be that Professor Hulk persona. We see this brand new Hulk take shape and it will be very interesting as the MCU goes on how they're going to play around with that. I think it'll be very interesting to see Hulk become an even um, stronger and smarter fighter as time goes on. Cause obviously like in Avengers, he's literally only using brute force. He's taking on um, lesser beings than him and Thanos. If you look at him, he's truly the same nearly the same size as Thanos. So Hulk versus Thanos is no longer this Hulk is taking on someone who he knows that he can defeat. It's Hulk is taking on someone who is almost, um, by comparison, his equal, simply because if you can defeat the Hulk before he gets extremely angry and before his power starts to amplify and... Um, just completely get stronger and stronger and stronger. He becomes a defeatable character, which Thanos clearly showed us in Infinity War. So on that note, I just want to end here. This is not what the channel is always going to be. There will be times where we talk about the comic books, talk about different pops. We will have some really cool giveaways, hopefully in the near future. We want to do a giveaway at a thousand subscribers. So the quicker we get to that, the quicker we can do our first giveaway. And then we really want to just continue from there. We want to make sure that we're consistently giving stuff to you guys and showing that not only are we doing this because we love it, but we're doing this because we want to talk about it with you. And who knows in the future, once COVID is all over, we might do some in-person um, stuff with the different guys who are on the Comics Lounge crew. And right now we have about eight guys who we're gonna be consistently meeting with. I'm gonna allow them to introduce themselves once we get into that. Our next video will most likely come out next week. We're gonna kinda just talk as a group first. We don't wanna rush into anything because we don't want this to look like every other YouTube channel. And we don't want this to look like um, we're just throwing it together for the sake of throwing it together. We genuinely want to have awesome conversations about comic books 
because that is truly our goal. It's not just simply let's make a ton of videos and hope they get a ton of views. It's let's talk about comic books. Let's create a passion where we can genuinely have these conversations and be interested and get new people interested in comic books instead of just the movies. The amazing thing about these movies is that it's not just the movie that's so awesome. There's so much source material for each and every movie that comes out that it would take a lifetime to read it all. And I sincerely hope that you subscribe. I want to see what you guys think and share your thoughts in the comments. Let us know what you guys want to see. Right now we're kind of talking about doing three videos a week. If that happens, that would be great. We'll do a video about the new comics coming out, what we're looking forward to, kind of like a comic book news. We're going to do some talk about the movies, the video games, all the other material that comes out. And from there, um, we'll probably have other talks, just what we're really excited about, what comic really um, was amazing this week that we really liked. And again, this won't just be a Marvel. It won't just be a DC. It's going to be all different comic books. I just chose this Thanos vs. Hulk for the first one simply because Disney Plus uh, finally got the rights back to Infinity War so that they could have that. And I absolutely love this scene. I got to say, this is one of my favorite scenes. And also Thor Ragnarok is one of my favorite movies.